Hi and welcome back to Air Guns of Arizona's product showcase. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at the FX Verminator. It's a very compact little rifle. It has a biathlon style bolt, straight back, straight forward. It also has a self-returning spring, which enables the shooter to pull the bolt back, let it go, it returns by itself forward. It has three power adjustments on it. The adjustments are made with a power adjustment wheel, which changes the size of the transfer port. By changing the size of the transfer port, it's exactly repeatable from one step to the next. Unlike guns that have a spring tensioner on them, they are not exactly repeatable. It has an 8-shot magazine. To remove the magazine, you simply pull the bolt back. This pin right here is your centering pin for your magazine. The pin comes back, the magazine comes out. It's a static magazine, holds 8 shots. The gun comes with 3 magazines. The FX Verminator also comes with a safety on the right hand side, forward and back, enabling and disabling the firing cycle. Being small and compact, it's a good gun for small shooters and big shooters alike, or when you need a gun in a tight area. It has an adjustable buttstock. Loosening the 4mm Allen screw on the back enables the shooter to adjust it to whatever length they need. The fill pressure on this gun is 220 bar, which gives the shooter up to 100 full power shots on the high setting. The gun is available in 177 and 22 caliber. By removing the butt reservoir on the gun, simply unscrew it, placing it back in its die cut slot, adding the optional pistol tank on the back. Turns your Verminator rifle now into your Verminator pistol. Now you've got a handgun. Very easily removed and added. When filling your FX Verminator with either your pistol tank or your rifle tank attached, you simply take the FX probe that is supplied with the gun, slides into the front, enables you to fill the tank. Both the front and the rear tank are filled. When you remove the rear tank to apply the pistol tank, you will lose the air capacity that's in the front. So at that point you will have to refill after you put the pistol tank on. Also on the FX Verminator, it comes with a threaded muzzle and it does come with a thread protector on it from the factory. It's a standard half inch UNF. The Verminator has an air gauge on the bottom, so you can always tell your fill. It has a two-stage adjustable trigger on it, fully adjustable. Comes with a one-year warranty. The FX Verminator also comes with an 11 millimeter scope rail. Take your standard 11 millimeter scope mounts. And the action on this gun is reversible. It is fully ambidextrous. It can be used by either a right-handed shooter or it can be used by a left-handed shooter. Here at the shop, we just switch the bolt to the left-handed side. I think that about covers it for the FX Verminator. Now we'll go ahead and take it apart and put it in its case and take it out to the field and see what kind of groups we can get out of it and see how the gun performs. In the case, everything is die cut. The butt stock and the butt tank fit in securely. The gun itself fits in securely. It's also cut out for a compact scope. Your optional pistol tank, if you choose to purchase one, fits in the slot. The three magazines that come with the gun and the fill probe have their own slot. Very compact package. Let's get a scope mounted on this and get out to the range and see what we can do. Hello and welcome back to the range. Today we're going to be shooting the 
FX Verminator. Small compact little gun in the suitcase. I'm going to fill this little gun to 200 bar. First we're going to start out with some velocity tests and see what it does with a light pellet and what it does with a heavy pellet for energy. We're going to see what the lighter pellet will do which will be the Beeman laser pellet in 177 caliber. The average velocity with the Beeman laser pellet was 900 feet per second and it was just under 12 foot pounds of energy, 11.7. All right, now we're gonna check the velocity with the JSB 10.34 grain 177 caliber pellet. The JSB 10.34 grain pellet Averaged 813 feet per second with a uh, little over 15 foot-pounds of energy. All right, now we're going to check the trigger release weight on the FX Verminator. The average is one pound three ounces. Okay, now we're gonna shoot the 10.34 grain JSB pellet at 20 yards. See what kind of group we can get out of this little short barrel. Okay, that's five shots with the JSB 10.34 grain. Now we're going to try the Crossman Premier 7.9. Okay, now I'm going to load a clip up with the uh, Day State 8.44 grain pellet. We'll see what it'll do at 20 yards. Remember, we're not trying to hit the bullseye every time. All we're doing is showing you the different point of impact when you change pellet styles and weight. All we're looking for is groups. All right, this is the Day State 8.44 grain domed head pellet. That's a good example of what different pellets can do. There's not much weight difference between the 7.9 and the 844, but you can see the big difference in impact. Let's go down and get a closer look. All right, at 20 yards with the FX Verminator. So we've got, for the 10.34 grain JSB, looks like about a .261. Crossman Premier 7.9, five shot group at 20 yards. Looks like a .195. And then down here on the 844, we had a pretty bad tear on it, but about a .198. Okay, now we're going to try a 50-yard group with the 10.34 grain JSB-177 of the FX Verminator. We do have some gusty wind coming and going today, so we'll see what happens. On that last group, the one shot flew way off to the left. I felt the wind hit me in the back of the neck, and that was the next shot. And You can see how far it drifted that pellet. All right, let's go down and take a look and see what we got. At 50 yards, the 10.34 grain JSB, as you remembered, I called this one. The wind started blowing. I felt it in the back of my head. Blew this pellet off. The wind died down, taking that one flyer out. We have a .458 center to center group. Okay, we've got a fresh target up. We're gonna try the 8.44 day state pellet and see what it does at 50 yards.
Let's go down and see what we got. And the 8.44 grain, oh that's a percussion bag, 0.848. Now we're going to try a group at 50 yards with the Crossman Premier 7.9 grain. Looks pretty good, let's go look at it. In the Crossman 7.9, we had no wind. It died down completely. About a .312 with the Crossman 7.9 at 50 yards. Now we're gonna do a decibel test on the FX Verminator as the shooter would hear it at their ear. That concludes our field test of the FX Verminator. Put this back in my suitcase, go back to the office. Hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time, shoot straight and keep them in the tin ring. Start the spin cycle <laughs> on dry. Golly. Keep rolling, and now let's talk about the safety. What is there to say about gun test safety? Well, you need to say it, because you didn't say it, so. <laughs> Gotta go, Chris. Thank you. Freaking <laughs> heck. <laughs> don't shoot, please don't shoot. I ride my bike with my wife today, please don't shoot. Do we have any type of... Uh, cut. 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 <laughs> There's a speck on the stock. <laughs> we do. Now we're going to do a decibel test on the FX Verminator as the shooter would hear it at their ear. Okay, now we're going to do the trigger release weight on the FX Verminator. But it always helps to take the safety off before you try to do that. And you might want to cock the gun also. Let's redo this whole damn thing. <laughs> Until next time, shoot straight and keep them in the tin ring. <laughs> <laughs>